Here's a couple of uh, totally awesome tips uh, for beginners for, for digging a few worms. Uh, if, if, you know, if you're struggling to find you know, the, the money to, to actually purchase them, uh, it's quite fairly, fairly easy to dig them. So first of all, what we do is find a bit of beach um, with these with worm casts on, <coughs> as in here. Right. Select an area where you find a few casts. There's not plenty on this beach, but over here looks okay. We'll get a few here. I'm going to draw a line to try and work on. Probably about five, five foot to start with. What I'm going to do is dig a trench out here, like so, and push this soil, soil sand, to one side. Just one spit of the cork, just knocking it over, out the way. We do this fairly quickly, as not, so it doesn't fill up with water. Sometimes you will find a, a get the odd worm while you're doing this, but this is not the, we're not actually digging for the worms at the moment, we're preparing the, preparing the trench. Once we've done the initial, initial trench there, this, we start by putting the fork in here, and that back bit there it helps you out to get a deeper, deep, a deeper dig out. So we turn that and stick in front and then move next to it, push the fork down, and so on. And repeat this process until you start finding the worms. There we go, first turnover on that second thing, we found a nice, a nice lugworm there. Uh, once you've dug them out of the, the sand, um, I just tend to keep them in a bait box, uh, a bucket or anything really, but that's just why I just picked up out of the car and brought down with us. Uh, and just, they just keep quite well in there for the moment. If you're struggling uh, physically to, to dig a trench like that, because it is quite physically hard work, you can always spot dig. Um, by that I mean finding an individual cast and the hole, and then digging the worm out. Um, you'll find they live in a U-shaped burrow, so they should be halfway between the cast and the hole. And another way of doing it is just digging a single trench straight towards the sea. I didn't like that. And again, after, after a couple of digs, there's one there. And you could continue this, one sport ball straight through like that. You go through patches where you'll find a couple of worms, yeah. then a few feet, no worms and then a few more worms. While you're digging um, and you're digging your trench, uh, once it starts to fill with water, like you can see here, if you can't dig quick enough to, to dig, turn the, the sand over and it fills with water, it's time to move on and start a new trench. Once you've finished uh, digging, your, digging your worms and you've trenched a, a trench out of the beach, it's good responsible practice to fill, back fill your holes. By that I mean going back to the, the spoil of it and just pull it back in. You quite often find when you're digging worms you'll get 
two or three different colours of worms. As you can see here, we've got one sort of black worm, a lot very much darker, and a lighter coloured worm. Uh, you do tend to find the, the black worms are a lot tougher. I don't know why that is. I don't know if they're a different breed. I'm not sure, but they, they always seem a bit tougher. What I tend to do after we've dug the worms uh, is just give them a, a bit of a wash off, sort of stick them back in the box. You'll get bits of broken bits, all sorts. Keep all those because they can use as top-up baits and tipping baits. In the pool, the water just rot, rinse them off. Drain the water off, it cleans them off, and then the next thing they'll go into some paper. Yeah.